In this video, I will show you how to connect Power BI Desktop to folders. Imagine having different Excel files on your system and you want to connect to all these Excel files to consolidate them. You also want to have this Excel file in one place so that when you drop a new file, like monthly file, you want your Power BI reports to update automatically. The best approach to do this is to connect to a folder on your system. To connect to a folder, I'm going to click on Get Data here and right here, there's no folder here so I'll click on More. Right here, I'll search for Folder and I can see Folder here. I'll click on Folder and Connect. Now it's asking me for the folder part. So I'll browse to wherever my data is. So the data I'm trying to connect to is on my desktop. So and under my desktop, I have a folder called data source and then I have a folder called demo rather. Then under demo, I have a data called Excel dump. And here is the folder I'm trying to connect to. Inside this folder, I have a lot of Excel files that I want to consolidate together so that whenever I drop a new month file in this folder, I want my report to update. So from here, I'll click on this Excel dump and I'll click OK and also OK. Right here, because all of these are Excel, before, if you click on transform, there is a code called an M code called Excel of workbook that you can use to extract this. But because of the combine and transform, we can do combine and transform and use a little trick to combine this. So I'll come to combine and click on combine and transform. Interesting. Now Power BI is showing me that it's going to use the first file as a sample. It's going to pick the first file here as a sample and then I should select a sheet inside the first file as a sample. But I don't always advise to use a sheet as a sample, especially when you are trying to combine different Excel files. Rather, I would like to use this parameter, which is the folder, the O folder as a sample. So I'll click on this parameter, right click on it and click transform. A power query will pop up and right here, a code will be generated that will create all this transformation for me. Here. I have the transform sample and I'm using the April 2014 as a sample. Right here, I have something called transform sample file and this is my transform table. This is my sample table. Anything I do in this sample table is going to affect my consolidated file, which is this Excel dump. Right here, you can see the list of all my files that I have here and then I have not consolidated them yet. I'll go back to my sample here and I'm going to do some major cleaning here. Right here in my sample, what I need here is only the data. I don't need item, kind, hidden, and name. And this is because I use the folder. And this is back practice. So what I'm going to do is to right click on this data and say remove other column. I will also come to this expand button and expand these columns. I also need to tick use original column name as private. I can remove that because I don't want this to show data dot, data dot, whatever. So I'll unclick this and click OK. Here I can see my data here and the next thing to do is to promote the header. So I can go to my transform and click use fresh through as headers. By doing this, my data is well clean, which is my sample is well clean. I'll go to my consolidated file to be sure my data is clean as well. Now, because I've done some transformation to the sample, this is complaining about some columns, right? And that's basically because of this chain type. I need to remove this chain type from my consolidated table. And right here, you will see all my data consolidated. When I click the drop down on source name, I will see every Excel file that is in my folder in here and this is the consolidated file. After consolidated this, I will just come to home and click on close and apply to load this to my 
パービアイネクスト。